I'm Zach Owen. And I'm Jim Cody from the Waco 100 Morning Show. Here's what's coming up this week on 25 Hot Country Cafe. Beholding the heaven in my arms to drop me up beside the jukebox if I die. For all your favorite country videos and news and information on your favorite country stars, tune in right here. Sunday night at 10.30 on KXXB Channel 25. Tony from the Waco 100 Morning Show. Welcome to 25 Hot Country Cafe. First off this week, we want to congratulate all of last week's winners who picked up the Gibson Miller Band t-shirts and cassettes, CDs, and that CD player. And coming up at the end of the show, we'll run down that list of names for you. Now to kick it off with our hot videos, here's a Beaumont native from right here in Texas, Mark Chestnut. And it sure is Monday. Well, you better start cleaning. It sure is Monday, or at least will be in a couple of hours. Sure Mark will. Chestnut on MCA on 25 Hot Country Cafe. Stay with us. We've got more great country videos, country news, and concerts with Christine Kahanik. Right there. Hey, I'm glad y'all could catch up with us on 25 Hot Country Cafe. You know, our new theme music that we play at the first of the right show the very beginning. is a new group on Polygram Mercury called Twister Alley. And we're going to see that video next, back to back, with Tracy Bird on 25 Hot Country Cafe. Tracy Bird and Holden Heaven on 25 Hot Country Cafe. Zach and Jim here coming to you from the Chicken Shack. That's right. Stick around. We got the sax man. He's going to review the latest Clint Black CD up next. Hi, this is the sax man, Greg Sachs with Waco 100. It's time for another music critique, and I've got no time to kill, which just happens to be the brand new CD from Clint Black in stores now. Clint's Texas roots shine on this new effort, starting with the duet A Bad Goodbye with Winona Judd. Clint spoofs one of his classic songs, Killing Time, with the new single, No Time to Kill. Of course, if you were married to Lisa Hartman, then you could relate to his predicament real well. His wife's also the inspiration for one of the greatest new country ballads that I've heard in a long, long time. Check out the song, Half the Man, and you will understand my enthusiasm there. Clint pins all the songs on the new album, and he even includes a written collaboration with Jimmy Buffett. Clint's back to his old style, and it fits him well. I say the man in the black Stetson rates a 9 on a scale from 1 to 10 with this new effort. This is the sax man. Well, it's killing time, and I've got no time to kill, so I'll see you soon. Clint Black on 25 Hot Country Cafe. You know, Clint's on tour right now with Wine on a Judge. It's the Black and Y tour, and a lot of the money that they're raising at the concerts, they're donating to the flood victims in the Midwest. Plus, they're challenging other country stars to do the same. Stay tuned. Christine is next. 
Welcome back to 25 Hot Country Cafe. I'm Jim Cody. My partner, Zach Owen, is uh, either in the kitchen or who knows where. But I do know we have country music news and artist information with Christine DeHunt. Thank you, Jim. And now let's take a look at who's making the news in country music. Recently, the Veterans Administration honored country music artist Travis Tritt for his work with the Veterans Administration. It's the highest honor the organization bestows on a civilian. Also in the news, Doug Supinaw has had his run of bad luck lately. Earlier this year, he broke his neck and was later involved in a head-on car accident. A few weeks ago, he was hospitalized with food poisoning. Then en route to a benefit, his band awoke to find all their equipment stolen. Then to top it all off, one of the two radio stations in Reno, Nevada, has banned his new hit song because of the negative image it portrays of their city. And in other country news, a year ago this week, Brooks and Dunn hit the top of the charts with their hit single, Boot Scoot and Boogie. And if you remember, a decade ago, Janie Fricky hit number one with He's a Heartache Looking for a Place to Happen. And now country concerts happening across the state. On Friday, August 20th at Billy Bob's, Doug Stone will be performing. Then the following Friday on the 27th at Billy Bob's will be Brother Phelps. Then at Six Flags for a two-day concert tour, Reba McIntyre will be performing. Then, Garth Brooks will be at Texas Stadium September 23rd through 25th. He will hold his three-day tour, and if you're dying to see Garth, make sure you listen to Waco 100 for a chance to win tickets to his concert. And that's your country music news and calendar for this week. Back to you, Jim. Thanks, Christine. And I still don't know where Zach is. Hey, hey, hey. Where, where have you been? Ooh, hobbing in the kitchen, picking up a little extra dough. Oh. <laughs> Let's get back to more videos. Here's Joe Diffie, prop me up beside the jukebox on 25 Hot Country Cafe. Do you really think we should be doing this? It's what he wanted. Let's go. <laughs> well, I ain't afraid of dying. It's the thought of being dead. I want to go on being me once my jukebox if I die. Ooh. Okay, that's good. Come on, come on. Wait, we just can't leave him here. What do you want to do? Take him home? Okay. Hey, it's closing time, man. You ain't got to go home, but you can't stay here. That's the latest from Joe Diffie and prop me up beside the fry later at Leslie's Chicken Shack on 25 Hot Country Cafe. And I know they appreciate you helping them back there in the kitchen. Hey, I've cooked a lot of gooses in my time. We want to thank all our winners and congratulate to the folks that sent in cards and picked up the Gibson Miller Band t-shirts and cassettes as well as the grand prize winner of that CD player. Tattoo. Well, that's going to wrap up this week's show. Be sure to tune in next week, same time, same channel, to 25 Hot Country Cafe for some more Hot Country videos. That's right. We've got How Catch Them. we got the latest from Steve Warner and more. So see you next week on 25 Hot Country Cafe. She drives me wacky.